Hey guys, let's talk dive watches. Once again, we will disclaim that watches are incredibly intricate and there can be subtle gray areas within brands, styles, movements, etc. So just know we are aware there are probably some outliers to what we're going to talk about here. Anyway, moving on. A diving watch, which is also commonly referred to as a diver's or dive watch, is a watch designed for, you guessed it, underwater diving. Dive watches come synonymous with water resistance. On a lot of brands, you'll see water resistance referred to as an ATM, which is a unit of measurement that stands for atmospheres, which is a rating of water resistance. With one ATM being the normal pressure at sea level, one atmosphere of resistance is then equal to withstanding 10 times the pressure at sea level without allowing water in. I know that sounds confusing, but a much easier way to compute this is just with some simple math. For example, 10 ATM could withstand water resistance up to roughly 100 meters, which is equivalent to being roughly 100 meters underwater. However, we must note that moving, swimming, or diving through water exerts more pressure than sitting still. So you couldn't literally dive to 100 meters with it. Swimming at the surface of a swimming pool could subject a watch to nearly three ATMs of pressure and jumping or diving in would add even more. So besides water resistance, another feature that's very beneficial to most divers is the rotatable bezel of a dive watch. This bezel will usually have hashes for every 15 minutes. What this does is allow a diver to set their bezel to the minute hand and know exactly when they need to head back up. It's not a bad feature to have when you're breathing through a tube underwater. This watch here, as well as many other dive watches, also has a manual helium release valve. On a deep dive, divers can pressurize their watch by filling it up with helium. The pressure created by injecting helium into the watch will acclimate the watch to the pressure of the deep waters that divers may find themselves in. Sometimes on a deep dive, divers are releasing a lot of helium, which can get into the face of the watch and cause problems upon ascending. So with this helium release valve, you can unscrew it while ascending, and it's a one-way valve which allows the helium to escape, allowing the watch to avoid damage or have any leakage. Finally, another cool feature that's common among dive watches, and has become a popular addition to many other watch designs, is the screw-down crown. The screw-down crown is designed to keep the watch case airtight and water resistant to prevent any damage to the mechanism inside. So be sure anytime you have to unscrew the crown that you screw it back in tightly to maintain the watch's water resistance. Okay, so that was a deep dive, terrible pun intended, into dive watches. Guys, thanks so much for joining us. And if you want some more watch insights, be sure to check out some of our other great content over at content.watchgang.com. And of course, be sure to find and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Be sure to head over to watchgang.com slash WG101 for more Watch Gang education.